Adidas passed on Michael Jordan in 1984. Probably not a great business decision on Adidas' <laughs> part, and their reasoning was he was too short. They wanted a big man like Kareem, who stood seven foot two, not six foot six. Michael Jordan. Let's take a quick look from the Wall Street Journal and technically for pro basketball talk is where I found it in the first place. The quotes regarding this: In 1984, Adidas made a misstep that presaged others. The University of North Carolina basketball star, I never heard of this guy, Michael Jordan, wanted a sponsorship deal with Adidas when he went to a professional. Some pe say people familiar with the matter. Moving forward, Adidas distributors wanted to sign Mr. Jordan, says someone who was an Adidas distributor then. But executives in Germany decided shoppers would favor taller players and wanted to sponsor centers. The person says, adding, "We kept saying no. No one can relate to those guys. Who can associate with a seven-foot-tall guy?" One last one. Adidas signed centers of the air, including Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Still not a terrible signing. Yeah. It still sells sneakers named for him. Mr. Jordan, in 1984, signed with Nike, or as Francis calls it, Nike, which built his <laughs> name into a blockbuster basketball business. Mr. Jordan and Adidas declined to comment. Uh, so, Victor, we'll start with you. Uh, in terms of what happened with Jordan and Nike and Jordan Brand and everything that took off, he's now a billionaire. What would have changed if he signed with Adidas? Would there? Do you think there would be any Jordan brand, or do you think it would have just taken off with them? The interesting thing with Adidas is that they continue to be fixated with the big man. Mm -hmm. Look at some of the guys wearing Adidas now: Tim Duncan, yeah. Dwight Howard, Joachim Noah. So they've, that legacy has continued. And the interesting thing is, the year after Jordan came out, Patrick Ewing was seen to be the next franchise player, and Adidas signed Patrick Ewing. And if Ewing had maybe gotten the better of Jordan in all those matchups with the Knicks and the Bulls, it could have been a different story. Instead, it goes the other way around, and there's just no getting around the fact that he became this iconic presence, and it just shaped the, uh, the whole fortunes of this company. So had it been reversed and the basketball results are the same, I think the tide goes with Jordan. You know what? I agree, because if... Patrick Ewing signs with Nike, that shot falls, and the Knicks go on to win the NBA championship. <laughs> Francis, our you resident, would wish. <laughs> Francis, our, our style expert here, you can check him out on Style. Like, by the way, uh, with Adidas, and I know you're an Adidas fan, Nike fan. Yeah, you're, I love balance. You have your shoe collection. I, I mean, I love Adidas football boots, in my perspective. The lighter, the, uh, Nike has made some unbelievable... <laughs> Nike. They've made some <laughs> unbelievable shoes that uh, obviously can rival that, but they seem to have learned that lesson from Jordan when it comes to the two biggest names in soccer history because the number one highest paid Adidas athlete in the world that is unmatched in the last five years is Lionel Messi ah. who pulls in all of the numbers. He's only five foot six, tiny, so, but he's just a, a phenomenal figure that everyone resonates well with in soccer. So with soccer, they take the smallest and in basketball, they take the tallest. Yeah. If you're anywhere between six and six eleven, you are not allowed to sign with Adidas. <laughs> that is so. basically the rules. Yeah. Justin, your thoughts on, uh, on Jordan getting Well, I, I need to... I need to Disclaimer, I'm from Chicago. Jordan was my hero growing up. So I, I feel like I have an allegiance to Nike because of Jordan. And, you know, this is hyperbolic, but I think it's like if Germany won World War II, I, don't, I think the world would be different <laughs> if, if Jordan was, was with Adidas. Because I, I buy Nike products because of Jordan, and it transcends, it transcends basketball. The Jordan brand transcends basketball. So I think, I think everything would be different. All right. Well, I like those thoughts. Interesting. All right, guys. Well, we do got to wrap it up and make this a quick one for you. But what do you think about Adidas passing up on Michael Jordan? Obviously not the best decision. Second, in my opinion, to HBO passing on Breaking Bad. Those <laughs> things happen. From Victor Chief, Francis Maxwell, Justin Mosher, and Jason Rubin, thank you for watching The Rundown. Make sure to check us out. YouTube.com slash TYT Sports. YouTube.com slash The Post Game. Postgame.com. Make sure to check us out. Everything's in the link in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.